Welcome back to the videos here, Piano Music and Repair. And in today's video, I'm going to be um, showing you, um, I'm going to be explaining to you why and showing you why you should always um, take the keys up when buying a used piano. Um, uh, mainly, um, if you have a piano like that was in a barn or in a house, or just stuff like that. Um, if it was sitting in, like, if it was sitting in a house for many years and they say they've never tuned it, never opened it or anything, then it would be a very good idea to clean the keys. And it actually can be very useful, too. Um, believe it or not, you can find a lot of cool stuff under piano keys sometimes. And uh, we're going to be pulling some keys up. As you can see, I removed the action. And you can see the video last night that I posted. Go check that out. It's my first time removing a piano action. Go check it out. Big success. And we're going to be taking these keys up and we're going to be seeing what all has been hidden under these keys for the past um, 90 years. Because I have a feeling it hasn't been opened in probably like 60 or 70 years. So we're going to go ahead and take these keys up. As you can see, I pull the action out. Not all the time you need to pull the action. Um, so what you can do is if the action's in, there'll be the there'll be the whipping right there you just push it up and pull the key out um i'll explain that in another video um of how to do that but anyway this i have the action pulled out so this is only a video where i'm going to be showing you what you can find under piano keys i cannot wait to see what kind of treasure and stuff is under these keys um a lot of the times you find like coins and stuff like you can find money you can find just a lot of stuff you can just mm, just a lot of stuff. And a lot of times, you'll find, like, rodent droppings and other stuff like that in the piano. That is very common. That's actually more common than anything else. So, we're going to take the keys up and show you what could be under these keys. You can see there that the, these keys are ivory. So, let's go ahead and get to work. So, what I'm going to do, if the action is pulled out in it, what you can do is you can just take the key. And you can see it's um, on this pin. That's the balance rail pin. And um, you want to lift it off the front rail pin. The front rail pin is right there. It's hard to see it there. And then you can just take it and lift it up. Just like that. And you can see under that one key, you got some nasty stuff. And you will have to use a vacuum under, the, under a piano most of the time you will. Um, this is a miniature piano. This is a um, 61 key Wurlitzer piano. Wurlitzer upright mini piano, 61 keys. And it actually it weighs probably like 200 pounds. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and take the keys up, and again, um, same thing with the black notes, just grab it, pull it off the balance rail pin, and then there you go. You can see that we're probably going to end up in a lot of nasty stuff. And what you want to do, sometimes the keys are numbered, like these are numbered, but there's, I don't understand like what the number, like this says like 30 some, and this is, should be like key number two, so... Uh, we'll have to renumber these while I have them out. So, you can use, like, a marker to put, like, one to number it. And some people just draw a line, which, drawing a line on the keys, I don't really see how that helps a lot because it is still easy to get them mixed up. I would just write with a Sharpie, like, the numbers on the backs of the keys, like, right here. Um, I wouldn't do it right here, but you can probably do it right here. It'd be a lot easier. Um, so, yeah. And a lot of times, you'll see, like, writing on the keys... And that means most of the time, like, a piano technician has did some writing on the keys of when it was tuned, repairs, and other stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and stack these keys up. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and remove them. All right, you've got all the keys out of the piano. You can see that the keys are sitting over there. And um, this is why you should always remove the keys from a piano when you first get a used piano. Because this, you can see that is nothing but rat droppings. And uh, we got some missing bushings. You can see right here we have a missing bushing. We should... Um, needs some new, needs a new bushing. Um, you can see that there's always supposed to be 
a felt on the top and uh, it's missing some of that. So rats do get into pianos a lot. And uh, it is gonna need some replacement bushings. As you can see, some of these have been replaced at some, time, at some point. Some of these green bushings have been replaced. And, um, and that's why it's always good. We didn't find treasure, but a lot of pianos you can find like money. We found one coin, but we already took that out. Um, make sure the bushings are in here. Make sure you see these little white little bushings right there. Make sure they're all there. Which on this piano, them, them appear to all be there. On this piano, they do. Um, yeah, you want to make sure that that's there. And, um, yeah, as you see, it's a lot of nasty mess in here. And we need to clean this out. That's why you always want to remove the keys from a used piano when you first buy. Because, um, it can make you your piano nasty. And it can make your house really nasty, too. And there can be stuff like dead animals, like I have a piano in Charlottesville, and that had I pulled like two or three dead rats out of it that were decayed. And if that was in a house, that could be really bad. Like if them rats were to be in the house within that piano and I didn't notice it, then other stuff could get in it and it could eat your piano up and it could eat your house up or your church, whatever building it's in. That's why you always want to clean up used piano when you first buy it, whether it's off uh, marketplace craigslist a church anywhere don't really matter um you want to make sure it's clean um i have a um Kohler and campbell piano upstairs and uh i took the keys out of it it was pretty clean we vacuumed it out a little bit a lot of times you'll find dust and, ra and, and rodent droppings that's mostly what you'll find but you can find like coins and other stuff so um now the strings um you can clean the strings you can just take a little vacuum to this but be very careful don't use like one of the round tip vacuum things because you don't want to suck the bushings up you want to kind of want to get one of the flathead vacuum attachments because you don't want to suck any of these bushings up because bush if these without these bushings the keys would hit the keys would go down up too far and and it wouldn't release the hammer from the string so that's why you always want to um clean your piano when you first get it because this is what you'll find most of the time. So, um, like I said, this piano probably wasn't, hasn't been open for like 60 to 70 years probably. Um, it's really out of tune as well. So, um, that's what, you want to make sure of that. And then what you can do after that is you can um, go and get a vacuum cleaner and just brush like, you can go like on the bushings kind of, but don't like use too big of an attachment or else it'll suck the bushings up and make sure that, they're in there pretty tight, which they are. And, uh, yeah, you can most of the time just run it along the line right here. And, um, yeah. So, all right. So, um, now I'm going to go ahead and get a vacuum cleaner and, uh, vacuum this out. So, let's vacuum it. All right. The piano is semi clean. Um, it's clean enough. And as you can see here, we have got that all the rat crap out so i just grab you just grab it you can grab like a shot back and um you want to make sure that you have um this kind of tip on here especially when you're around the bushings because it can try to suck them up and you want to be very careful about that so you want to use something like this it's a little ripped or whatever it's a little broke but use something like this and just put it on the shot back and do that. And uh, like when you're like when you're around when you do this, kind of like do this kind of motion like this, kind of like that. And, uh, and when you get to where you're like right here, then you could use the regular um, round thing to do it with. And you just want to make sure that you're very careful not to suck anything major up. Like uh, I was vacuuming and there was I mean, if I could try if I could find it let's see um, I can't remember didn't know where it fell to somewhere and um we look for metal and stuff like that that would what that would fall or that would you know so you want to make sure you don't suck up any metal which I saw a piece of metal fall out of the piano when I was vacuuming it out. 
So I'm using the vacuum I saw some metal fly out, but of course you want to kind of look where that is. I can't really find it. So, but yeah, there was a big piece of metal that came out of it. And be aware of that. Kind of let too much stuff get in there. Um, but yeah. Get it all cleaned out there, and then you can just put your keys back in. And uh, I'd be really, I would be a little more careful doing this with the action in it. Like if I'm, if you're doing this, it, it's easier to get the action removed. Um, you can either look on another video of how to remove the action from a piano, or you can just wait, and we'll do a video um, sometime soon demonstrating of how to remove the piano action. So yeah, that's what you want to do. You want to be very careful doing it. It's semi clean, a lot cleaner than it was. And now it is clean enough to put the keys back in. And yeah, so we got all that done. And uh, for those of y'all that um, have an old piano wanting to scrap it or whatever, and you want it to, if you, if you, you know, you don't have any use for it, what you can do is you can actually leave the action in and you can take all the keys up and then there'll be these screws. You can see there's these screws all the way over here. You can just take these screws out and uh, these whole this whole rail, these whole, these this whole thing will come out. This will come, all this will come out. And once you do that, you can just put a keyboard in there, put all the lids back on it, and leave the action in it, and you'll still have a full piano. You just, you'll, these, this will be all, all this will be out. The keys will be out. You can probably store them up somewhere in case you know. But yeah, so that's basically how you do that. And now you can just put the keys back in. They basically come, they basically go in the same way. That you took them out so I'm just gonna grab a key right here this is the first key and you can just of course you just want to line up the bushings we've talked about that in another video we just line up the bushings just like that um, it can be a little tricky yes you want to line up all the bushings make sure they're in line and just like, so you can see it's kind of tricky, but yeah, um, just of course put the keys in, they'll, they'll slide on these, um, these pins right here, as you can see the balance rail pin would go right in here, it's a little, this is really tricky, you gotta, it's easier to do this with two hands, you can see, just to put it in, like that, here I'm gonna set the camera down a little bit. just like that. Done. That basically goes in the same way they come out. They slide up on them bushings, them pins. They go up on them pins right there, and then that's how they go on and off. And then you can just put the action back on top of it, and then you'll be good. So that's basically how you do that. Um, again, you always want to clean your piano. Of course, the bottom, you want to do the same thing with it. Of course, use the same attachment for the bottom. And uh, you should be good. You can maybe use uh, the bigger attachment for the bottom, but be careful in the bushings. You want to use small attachments around the bushings. Do not want to suck up the bushings because they're they're a devil to get replaced. Because you have to do all these. You have to wait, put weights on the keys and all that. So that's basically how you do it. And uh, here's the whole piano. I'll probably this probably piano will probably be back together in a couple months or a couple of weeks because. Um, it actually, it could actually, it'll probably actually, if I was going to do this now, it could probably take me like five minutes to get all this back together. Um, I could probably get this piano, I could get the keys in, the action in, the panels back on in like five, ten minutes, probably. So, that's how you do it. Um, and those of y'all that are wondering if I just destroy this piano, I did not destroy this piano. This is how you clean the piano. You want to get it in there good. And, uh, like I said, how the action is upstairs to it. I need to get the action sent in for work. And yeah, that is how you clean the inside under the piano keys. Of course, this is very, be very careful doing this. Um, sometimes you might want to wear a mask just in case. I probably should have worn a mask because you never know what you can find lurking in the bottom of the piano. And sometimes you can open them up and you can find a, a rats that are still alive. Like I have a spinet piano in Shawsville and there was a rat between the lifter wires in the bottom. And um, it, I guess it got stuck and it starved and thirsted and it died. And, uh, yeah, we want to be careful of that. And that's common with spinet pianos. You can get rats in under the lifter wires. 
but yeah, this is not a spinet. This is a upright. Um, uh, this is a full. This is an upright mini Wurlitzer piano, and uh, yeah, that's how you do it. And of course, you want to keep your keys organized. You can go on the keys on the like right above the white part and just number them with a sharpie. I mean, you could use a pen, but I would recommend sharpie. You know, you it, you could see it better and it would last on there longer probably. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, this has um, been Piano Music and Repair, and I'll see y'all next time. See you guys.